All right, so today I'm gonna be trying to paint this dash. Uh, went with matte black from Duplicolor. Uh, I haven't really seen people paint the dash too much. I mean, I've seen it like powder coated and stuff by professionals, but I wanna do something myself at home. So I went ahead, went to Pet Boys, picked up a tack cloth and um, some 400 grit wet and dry sandpaper. So I try sanding this down. I did buy this off OfferUp. Uh, bought this one off eBay. Everything's probably about, say, $80 total right now. So still cheaper than buying a completely blacked out dash. I am going to be painting it flat black. They all are a little bit different. I mean, previous owner, I guess, sanded it. I don't know what the hell he was doing. But uh, this one's more the smooth and this one's more the brushed aluminum look. I don't know if you can really see that. Got a few dents on it, but hopefully sanding it will take it out. Got one there, the one there. Um, just gonna go ahead, mask it up right now, and then uh, I guess start sanding. But uh, like I said, using matte black, I'm gonna try getting a Ford Performance logo in gloss black that'll match with my banner I have on my car. So uh, yeah, let's see how it turns out. It's my little project. All right, so I was trying to tape this part up, um, but I saw these grooves here and I figured it's gonna be too much of a pain in the ass to leave the tape down. It's gonna keep lifting. But um, as you can see there, uh, so I just taped off this little bracket part that connects the actual, the actual dash and then where the fog lights and light switches. But uh, I think I'm just gonna start sanding. There's not really much to tape off. I mean, I could tape off the clips, but honestly kind of too lazy. And uh, just want to start sanding and prepping for paint. I mean, not really gonna prep much, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure I'll mess it up, but I'm learning. All right, so I just finished sending this down. Pretty happy where it's at. Got all in here where the AC vents are. 
Uh, like I said, I'm not going to tape that off. I mean, the vents will cover it. But uh, send it all the edges. And uh, pretty smooth. Got off uh, some little dents there. Maybe go over this again. I don't really know what they did. I mean, it looks like the clear coat just came off. So, I mean, I'm going to spray paint. Should build up a little bit. Fill it in. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding these down. And then, uh, based off the sun right now, I might paint them tomorrow instead. I think it's supposed to be hotter tomorrow, so help dry a little better. So, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and start sanding these down, though. Alright, so I haven't sanded this one yet, and I believe this is on driver's side, so it matches up with that piece there. And uh, I, like I said, I ordered this passenger piece off eBay because when I bought it on offer up, the guy didn't have it for some reason. Don't know, didn't question it, just looked on eBay, found it. Uh, but it's kind of hard to see, I think, on camera. But uh, it is textured, and you could hear it versus you know it's completely smooth so uh just trying to sand it but it's kind of a pain in the ass again but uh you could tell i sanded it i think it'll be fine once i paint over it but uh yeah kind of bummed about that but i'm just gonna leave it like that it's already sanded i'm sure the paint will stick and uh that's the final piece i gotta sand down those two are already done and this one's done also, so those three. And, uh, yeah, just gonna go ahead and move over to this, wipe everything down, and uh, sun's already almost down, it's a little after six. So, uh, yeah, probably paint today, maybe later, we'll see. All right, so I went ahead, wiped everything down, uh, just with a old microfiber there. Um, I am gonna wipe it down well, actually, I don't think I'm going to wipe it down with the tack cloth. I don't think it's that serious. I mean, I could use that for another project. Probably if I clay bar and wrap my roof, I hear it's really good to use the tack cloth so it uh, adheres better. But uh, yeah, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and start spraying this piece down. And I'll do the smaller three pieces after. And... Uh, see how it turns out i mean if i don't like it i can always sand it i mean the paint the sandpaper and the tack cloths and even a monster was less than 20 dollars. so i mean i can always do it again so i'm gonna go ahead and get started painting i'm not sure if i'm gonna record because i just got this phone and i don't want to mess it up so yeah um if i record then you'll see the clips if i don't then you understand why but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and threw down the first coat on everything. Um, some areas kind of sputtering there, a little bit there. I mean, it's not too bad. I didn't want to go too heavy because I've painted stuff around my house before. And I mean, yeah, it didn't come out good because I, I go crazy with it. So I'm trying to do it in moderation, but I think I could go a little heavier on the next coat. I know I missed a few spots, could have gotten a little there inside the vents there i mean you can see it all in that line but uh, i put it on these boards so if you're painting if you've got boards or something so you can easily just turn it around a lot easier because spraying upside down of course it'll splatter and start sputtering cans aren't made to be upside down but uh yeah just letting it dry a little bit and then i'm gonna throw on the second coat right after that dries Getting a little dark out, brought out this light, but um, 
believe I'm on my fourth coat. Probably could have done it in four total, but I think I'm gonna go over it one more time. Damn bug. There we go. Cut him off. Uh, I mean, kind of looks spotty on camera, but in person, doesn't look too bad. Probably is a little spotty. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna go over it one more time. So, not too worried about it, but I'm loving how it looks. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Got all the edges. I mean, still gotta go a little more on some edges, but uh, not too bad. Almost done. So, I mean, it's been about 40 minutes since I started this, so it's not too bad at all. All right, so I'm inside the car. Um, I'm gonna actually start removing the dash. Um, so I guess start off with this panel, work my way to that panel, and then get that side also. Sorry, the car's a mess, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna get started and remove that. Oh, I did break that though. No? Oh, that's that. Oops. Oh, I got JB Lola. I can always put that back on. How did it come off though? Alright, so I've got these two off. Uh, still got this clip here. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it, so I'm gonna get a flathead and actually pull that out. But, um, I did actually break one tab. Clips in here on this big one. Yeah, it's actually, it's right here. But, uh, I do have JB Weld, so I'll try JB Welding that together. Uh, I believe that piece actually broke off of the other one, so I guess that's fragile. But, uh, everything else is still good. I'm on this side now, the driver's side. Same thing as the other side, pull from here. And then uh, right here under it, I know there's a seven millimeter bolt. And then uh, go ahead, unplug this. And once you unplug it, pop it out, plug it back on uh, to the connector and then leave it sitting there or else your headlights will stay on. So, yeah. So I went ahead, got this one off. Here's the seven mil. Uh, there is a clip here. This is the part I broke on the other side. It's supposed to be like a U-shape. Uh, like I said, I will be JB welding that back. But uh, yeah, just seven mil here. And then you want to pry from here and uh, just kind of wiggle it. Just be careful not to break anything because the gauges are there in the light switch. So, sorry I'm not recording. Trying not to break any more tabs, but uh, Go ahead, pull from here, and then just slowly wiggle, and it will pop out. And then you have your connector back there for your lights. Go ahead, disconnect the connector, pop the actual switch out, and then leave it sitting in there. So car's not even on, but like I said, lights are on. So just go ahead. Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to record, but just go ahead, plug it back in, and like I said, set it in. There. It is upside down, but I'll fix it after. I forgot to record, um, but I did install this. For some reason earlier, that seven mil was uh, extremely tight. It was bending the plastic, but uh, just barely snugged it up. And uh, it's on there pretty good. And I feel that looks a lot more sleek, which I'm happy with. So I will have to wipe off the fingerprints, but that's no biggie. I'm gonna go ahead and probably install the rest right now without filming, just to get it done and then show you guys what it looks like after. All right guys, so it is the next day. I did realize it was pretty dark filming and 
that light I had wasn't the best to show it off. But um, as you can see, everything's in. Like I said, the tab that was over there is broken. It's a little saggy, but it's not too bad. I mean, you can't really tell even that it was the like brushed aluminum and it was raised, the texture. I mean, it matches pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. Don't mind the crack in the windshield. But uh, yeah, like I said, I got a Ford Performance banner. I do want to go ahead and get something matching there at night when I was driving yesterday. I felt it was a little plain. So, uh, I mean, I've seen people run lights here. I don't really know how I feel about that. I mean, I wish I had the performance pack gauges because I do have a premium pack Mustang. So I'm able to change the my color on it and uh, adjust the lighting, the ambient lighting too. But uh, I am pretty damn satisfied with how it came out. I'll turn off the AC so you guys can hear. Yeah, I mean, not the best, but I'm pretty satisfied for my first uh, little project of mine. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, share with your friends. So, I mean, cheap project to do. It came out really good for, I'd say, two hours worth of work. So, yeah. Go ahead and leave a like on the video, comment, like I said, go ahead and share, and uh, appreciate it.